What's good guys, it's your boy Fresh Dex in the Flesh, back it again with another banger, banger, banger. Y'all already know what to do. Make sure to go ahead and comment, like this video right now currently, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, cause we talk about dreadlock content over here. Y'all boys already read the title of this video. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing B-Way Youngin dreadlocks. Baby, it's you got a bag. Something special. What a wonderful feeling, I don't wanna wake up. I'm basically gonna be breaking down how y'all boys can get your dreadlocks to look similar to his. Anyways, that being said, intro! Before I begin this video, guys, I'm not even gonna cap with y'all boys. I didn't even know B Way the Youngin was NBA Youngboy's brother. I didn't even know NBA Youngboy had a brother, to be honest with you, because I don't be keeping up with uh, NBA Youngboy life like that for real, for real. I just talk about his dreadlocks. But, anyways, this video we're gonna be talking about his brother, dreadlocks. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I'm currently on uh, Google right now checking him for B Way the Youngin dreadlocks. I don't see any pictures of him in dreadlocks at all. Looks like he has like a little afro right here, you feel me? Looks like he's starting off the process, but I'm gonna go on his Instagram real quick to see if I can see some updated pictures. All right, guys, I'm on B-Way Instagram page, you feel me? He got like 17 posts, so he don't have much pictures on his Instagram. 105,000 followers, that's crazy. All right, but anyways, let me go ahead and scroll down to the beginning stages of his dreadlock journey. You know what I'm saying? So this is when he didn't have dreadlocks, guys. It looks like his hair looks really matted, and he's just letting his hair do what it's gonna do, pretty much, uh, without any manipulation. You know, if you have any four hair type of hair, you guys know if you do nothing to your hair, don't pick it out, anything is gonna look like this. All right, scrolling up. You feel me? Uh, so it looks like his hair, um, he basically twisting it with his fingers a little bit now because it look a lot different than it looked in the beginning stage of this picture right here. It looks like it's a little twisted, just a little bit, but he's not doing too much still. It's not too much development going on. This picture too as well, it's not too much development going on, just letting it do what it's gonna do. And let me see what type of haircut he has. I think he has, I don't know, he might have a tape like his brother, I'm not sure. I gotta see the side of his head a little bit. Okay, like this picture right here. All right, so he might have a drop fade. You know what I'm saying? That look like a drop fade. Let me know something in the comment section down below, guys. All right, but anyways, you guys can definitely see a lot of the mini twists happening. It looks like he's finger twisting his hair a lot. I'm not, I don't even think he's using a dreadlock sponge, to be honest with y'all boys, you feel me? Uh, Cause throughout the development stages, he was just letting his hair do what it's gonna do. Little uh, twists, a little bit happened from here and there from the updated picture right there. You guys can see this right, this picture right here. He's not doing much to his hair at all, for real, for real. And then when you scroll up to the more updated one, it looks like he's getting more into finger twisting his hair and just allowing it to stay like that so it can initially lock up sooner or later. So his hair is looking kind of freeform at this point because it looks like it's matted combined with twist at the same time. And it's not even all around because the back or getting towards the back of his head looks like it's a lot flatter than the, the front of his head. That makes sense. So you can definitely tell he lays on the, the back of his head when he uh, goes to sleep or probably the sides. I could be wrong. One or the other. But he definitely not picking his hair out at all. So this picture right here might be kind of old because there's more development in this picture of his hair than that picture up there. So just scroll down from there. Uh, uh, and then turn that song off so I don't get copyrighted. All right, so anyways, you guys can see a lot of the development going on with his hair and everything, the finger twisting and all that. Um, it looks like his hair definitely looked very matted. It don't look like he like freshly um, twists his hair like this picture right here because it, it looks like the twists are longer because he like spent time twisting his hair and everything. 
it looks like he kind of just woke up in this uh video clip right here guys um but yeah you can definitely still see some of the development i'm not sure but okay it low key looked like he died i think he um died one of his uh dreadlocks okay okay so yeah he died one of his dreadlocks and he's just allowing his dreadlocks to do what it's going to do for right now just uh finger twisting it and allowing it to lock up on his own less manipulation uh the better you know what i'm saying that's basically the route he's taking all right so oh yeah shout out to my boy nba ben 10 his dreadlocks going hard ain't gonna cap all right so somebody some people like the skinny dreadlock look you feel me i prefer the thicker set of dreadlocks but you know a lot of you guys are into that i'm judging from the comment section down below but clearly this picture is old because his hair is like really short so i'm just gonna move up from this picture oh shout out to my boy nba young boy this picture is very blurry um oh this one of the music videos right here I don't think this is one of the good music videos that really displays his hair too much because he's wearing a hoodie the whole time. A lot of stuff going on. All right, moving up to this picture right here. All right, not a good picture. All right, this picture right here is really good. Um, it looks like his hair really developed nicely. It looking similar to NBA Youngboys. I'm not even going to cap to y'all, but his dreadlocks look a lot skinnier than his though. But yeah, he going through a lot of uh, development and the development stages of his dreadlock journey. It low key kind of looked like he getting a retwist, judging from this last picture. Okay, I didn't mean to like the picture. But uh, <laughs> anyways, judging from this last picture up here, guys, it looks like he kind of getting a retwist a little bit. Because I see it looks like he um, have his hair like retwisted all the way to the roots. Yeah, his dreadlocks came out really skinny, so you can tell that he has a lot of dreadlocks, most definitely. His dreadlocks are kind of like emulating uh, sister locks, if that makes sense. You know, sister locks, like, um, no offense to sister locks, but it, sister locks don't really look like dreadlocks to me, but I'm just comparing his locks to sister locks because from uh, how skinny it is and how many dreadlocks he has, if that makes sense. So I'm not sure what happened to the dye patch he had on going on. Maybe he dyed his hair back black again. Um, but yeah, his hair is definitely developing nicely. It looks like on um, the tips of his dreadlocks are very blunted as well. It looks like we skipped a lot of stages in his dreadlock development. Uh, yeah, so he definitely wasn't updating us too much. I think um, I can get uh more visuals of his dreadlock development throughout his music videos and his pictures because yeah he skipped a lot of stages and it looks like he has a little bit of hang time like he's to the point like he can shake his hair back and forth you know side to side but he, like he don't have like hang time like in front of his face or anything yet he's still early in the dreadlock game all right so moving on to this picture right here yeah, I can definitely tell that he's uh, getting a retwist for sure. You can definitely see a lot of scalp exposed. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it take it, whoever retwisted his dreadlocks or he did it himself. I highly doubt he did it himself, but they took. I can tell that they took a long time to retwist his dreadlocks. Most definitely. Um, yeah, but they did a good job overall, though. I'm pretty sure he used, like, some Jamaican mango and lime to get his hair to be retwisted. And he retwisted his dreadlocks in the early stages as well. Well, I feel like he waited. He probably just waited a longer period of time for his hair to grow out. And then he just started retwisting his hair. So he started retwisting his hair really early. Um, he didn't go the NBA Youngboy route because NBA Youngboy, he waited a long, long period of time before he started to actually retwist his hair. That's why his dreadlocks came out a little thicker than his brothers, um, but they still, you know, fairly skinny too at the same time. But yeah, overall, dope look, dope image. It looks like he's taking a, um, taking good care of his dreadlocks. All right. So this picture right here. Uh, okay. So this is one of the old pictures right here. We had a little bit of the dye patch through the development stages of his dreadlock journey. Yeah, as you guys can see, he just allowed his hair to do what it's gonna do. And he allowed his hair to grow out while he was like free forming at the same time, 
and then sooner or later he started to get a retwist all right so he started to get a retwist and he's basically maintaining his hair by getting retwist and allowing his hair to basically semi free form because more of his updated pictures you don't see too much of the scalp but it's kind of hard to see more of the scalp when you have uh shorter dreadlocks and certain angles you won't be able to see the scalp too much but when your dreadlocks hang and you get more weight on your dreadlocks you can see retwist a lot better just saying all right so anyways all right some more pictures throughout the development of his dreadlock journey um yeah as you guys can see a lot of his uh dreadlock um well a lot of his dreadlocks are blunted like i was saying once before he still has the dye patch going on from here and there i guess the dye is like fading because some pictures i can see the dye but some pictures i cannot see the dye um and it kind of looks like he has a taper judging from the other pictures i looked at uh no no i'm wrong i'm wrong he doesn't have a taper i'm tripping um he just has the drop fade guys that's all he has so yeah pretty much his dreadlocks are developing nicely i'm pretty sure he's just gonna keep maintaining his dreadlocks uh semi free form and retwist it once in a while and he's just gonna maintain his dreadlocks like that so overall his uh dreadlocks look healthy it looks like he's taking good care of his dreadlocks and yeah, pretty much. It's really easy to get your dreadlocks to look similar to B-Way if you just go the semi-freeform route. Well, the freeform route and then get your hair retwisted sooner or later and then start semi-freeforming. That's basically um, how you can get your hair to look similar to B-Way. All right, so let's check out some YouTube videos, guys, to see how his hair has developed. This video was like, released like five days ago. Um, I'm just gonna review this video right here. I'm not gonna spend time reviewing all the other videos. All right, so let's check out this video right here. All right. So of course, um, in my version of me checking out this video, I'm about to have it as basically like a gift back and forth. <laughs> Cause if I play some of this video, it's gonna be copyrighted most definitely. So I'm gonna get back to y'all once I have everything a gift. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cap with y'all boys, but B Way music kind of sound good. He sounds similar to NBA Youngboy. I hope he, you, you know, don't sound out. similar to NBA Youngboy in the future. You feel me? Cause like if I listen to his um his song and NBA Youngboy song, I won't be able to tell it apart. You feel me? I would just assume it's NBA Youngboy song. So I don't know. Um, I guess he sounds like similar to NBA Youngboy and similar to NBA Youngboy sound because he's like from Louisiana or whatever. But anyways, guys, talking about his dreadlocks once again. Um, yeah, this video right here is his newest video. Um, it was like recorded like five days ago, or whatever, posted on YouTube. This music video right here. The song is kind of good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all boys. But um, anyways, dealing um, with his dreadlocks, it looks like his dreadlocks look similar to the image I showed you guys on Instagram. And a lot of his dreadlocks on the back of his head looks like it's like really flat. I'm not even gonna lie. And he definitely semi-freeforming because you can't even see his roots anymore. And he let his dreadlocks go here and there. So they going all crazy. Maybe because he has the headphones on, but yeah. But yeah, his dreadlocks are um, definitely de and still in the development stages um, of his dreadlock journey. So he's just allowing his dreadlocks to be like it's gonna be. Guys, before I go ahead and end this video, I want you guys to check out my boy Non Dom on Audio Mac or Spotify. He going crazy in the music, you feel me? Make sure to go ahead and show him some love and support. Boy, nine on the beat, man. Hey, fuck all the odds, man. Free TC, man. Hey, free game, man. Hey, 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 hey. Big murder, man. Hey. It's another one. Blood nine on the beat, and I'm finna spit some heat. Nigga, run up on me. I'ma hit him with this fucking heat. Nigga, all my odds are dead. Nigga, please try me. Nigga, run up on me. I'ma hit him with this fucking heat. I'm talking dead niggas on that block. That's where we meet. Talking about he slinging nine, but he ain't even in the street. I had to run up on his ass, hit his ass with that beat. RP, hit his shoulder, now he's skirting on that street. Talking about he smoking mine, but he ain't even got no heat. Chop a bullet, hit his ass. I 
got a guac. Niggas keep hating on me cause I'm fucking they thought. She giving me top. Glock 19 in the back, no come let you knock. I don't fall with ops, so get out the spot before I bust at your pop. Now hit some rock, I'm up in my Glock, I don't give a fuck. Kill you and your mom, I'm off some rock. Niggas keep dissing, I'm popping your top. I'm all black now with my brand new Glock. Rolling on the arc, and I got a drop. 16 shots now, swerving on your block. Money is the mission, stacking money, I'm loving them digits. Smoking gas at the stove, and you know I have my pole. 32 shots in this hoe, no face, no case, you already know the scope. Keep the blicky in my coat. I can already tell that B-Way is going to have some dope dreadlocks in the pursuing future. I will definitely be glad to update you guys on his dreadlock journey, most definitely. So, let's go over everything I talked about in this video so you can get your hair similar to uh, B-Way. You feel me, youngin? So, basically, you guys need to have a uh, four hair type, you know, at least 3C and 3C and above basically to get your hair to look similar to b way drill locks so basically you need to freeform at first and then throughout the journey um you basically do the finger twist method and then after that um grow your hair out a little longer like four to five inches per se and then you basically get your hair retwisted and then go to semi free form route when i say semi free form route i mean allow your hair to basically develop a whole lot of new growth underneath your dreads and just rock it like that you know with a taper um you feel me or a drop fade or whatever haircut you feel me nba young boy has <laughs> you feel me and you should have your hair looking similar to b way youngin but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's your boy fresh decks in the flesh and I'm going to see y'all boys on the next vid. Alright, peace.